a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Presenting Wordsworth. Chilly and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. <laughs> story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Oh, look at the time. Time to go home. We're all packed up. Yeah? Okay, come on, let's get home. Come on, Jade. How you do that? Story makers. Story makers. <laughs> Midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Rosetti Wordsworth, magical story maker, here to make stories with you. Hello. <laughs> Oh, hurry up, Jackson. Rosetti will be here in a minute. I'm going as quickly as I can. Oh. Is it nearly finished yet? Uh, yes, nearly. Okay. Uh, just that bit there. And now, look at this. <gasps> oh, Jackson, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> mm. I don't even recognise you. Don't you? <laughs> Come on. Can you keep a secret? I've got a few tricks in my pocket today. Have a look at this. <laughs> what do you think? Can you still tell it's me? What about if I try something else? Sunglasses. Where have you gone? Can't see very well through these. <laughs> Very exotic, don't you think? And now my disguise is complete. Rosetti, Rosetti! Oh, they're coming. Don't tell them it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Rosetti isn't here. Oh, well, who's that then? Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, we can't play a trick on Rosetti if she's not here. Well, well mm. I'll go and find out who it is. OK, then. Mm. Uh, Oh, Jackson. What? Uh, will you come with me? I'm a bit scared. Oh, OK, Jelly. Um, I'll be right behind you. OK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. Oh. Um, who are you? Um, oh, uh, I'm Rosetta's cousin. Who are you? Oh, well, I'm Jelly. And mm. I'm Jackson. Oh, <gasps> we don't look like Jackson. Oh, uh, pardon. I, I mean, um, you don't look like Jackson. Oh, Jackson, you've spoilt it now. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. You said you were Jackson, and you're not supposed to be Jackson. Are you two oh. trying to trick me? Uh, Rosetti? Yes, yes, it's me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good at keeping secrets. <laughs> what happened to your hair? Yeah. Hair. Yes, mm. Rosetti's got short curly hair. <laughs> oh, this, it's a wig. Oh. And it's very hot. Oh, oh that's better. Oh. We can use it to make a story. OK. okay. <laughs> Are you going to help Mr Balloon Jackson? <laughs> oh, you knew it was me. <laughs> yes, it was a very good disguise, though. <laughs> <laughs> in it goes. <laughs> Join in with your imagination. Yes. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. <laughs> what is it? It's a playbook. Oh. And it's called My Dad the Hairdresser. 
Today, I'm going to have a haircut. I know the hairdresser really well. He's my dad. I like to go to his salon because there's so much to see. Mrs Martin gets her hair done every week. Her dog likes to watch. Sometimes I help around the salon. I help take rollers out. I comb hair. Clean brushes. Clear up the hair that collects on the floor. I make sure that customers don't get hairspray in their eyes. But best of all, I like it when Dad cuts my hair. Before I have a chance to tell Dad what style I would like, I'm washed, shampooed, rubbed, rinsed, combed, snipped, clipped, shaved, and tickled. I know I will look fantastic because Dad is a great hairdresser. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Jackson's balloon man needs some hair, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Or, or a wig like what Rosetti had. Oh, oh yes. yes. Well, shall we make one? Yes, yes please. please. But mm. what shall we make one with? Oh. Oh. Perhaps there's something in your magic pocket. <gasps> or yes. maybe there is. Yes. But first, <clears throat> wig. Mm, I like that word. Uh, <laughs> wig, it rhymes with... Um, um, uh, a pig <gasps> and jig. Uh, uh, oh, and very jig. good. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. A pig in a wig danced a jig. A, a pig, pig in a wig, wig danced a jig. A pig in a wig danced a jig. A pig in a wig danced a jig. Yes, thank you. Very good. Yes, thank you. That's enough. Okay. Now then, let's see what I've got in my pocket. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Ah. Ooh, some toothpaste. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, that was from this morning. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, I didn't get a chance to eat my uh, breakfast. <laughs> and uh, uh, what else have I got? Ooh, a spoon to eat it with. Uh, of course. Uh, uh, no wigs then. No. Mm. Oh, but I do have. What? Some paper strips oh. and some wool. Oh. Now then, if I lay the strips out like this, yes. and then with the wool, mm -hmm. tie that around the middle. That's nice. So you're making a wig. Mm. Yes, I'm making a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You might need someone to help me with the knots there. Yeah. And then, if you could pass the balloon, please. Oh, there yeah. you go, Rosetti. Thank you. Mm. There's some sticky stuff underneath. Mm -hmm. Stick it on the top. <laughs> it oh. looks like real hair. Yes. Yes. Now oh. all he needs is a hat to keep his head warm. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I know how to make a hat. Oh, yeah. oh do mm. you? Mm. Here we are. Oh, thank you, Rosetti. <laughs> Need to make a hat. Yes, uh, but Rosetti, mm. can we make a story? Yes, but what should we use? Uh, something from your magic pocket, one oh. of these things. All right, then, which one? Uh, the spoon. Oh, good, I'm glad you didn't say the cereal. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> there we are. Yes. Ready with your imagination? Mm-hmm. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a three bear story. And it's called A Bit of a Fiddle. There's a house in the woods that's cosy and neat Where three furry creatures are waiting to eat The porridge is ready, hip hip hooray But who will come for breakfast with the three bears today? Poor Father Bear. All he wanted was some peace in the morning to eat his breakfast. But who could that be knocking at the door? Baby Bear skipped over to answer it. 
If it's Goldilocks, tell her to come back later. She's a proper nuisance, said Father Bear. But it wasn't Goldilocks. It was a rather sad-looking king. Hello, bears. I'm King Cole, the merry old soul. But I don't feel very merry today. <laughs> you see, I like to play my little musical pipe before breakfast, but I can't find it anywhere. It's in your crown, Your Majesty. <laughs> Baby Bear giggled. <laughs> <laughs> ah, joy! Thank you, little bear. <laughs> he was happy for a moment, but soon started to sniff again. Oh, 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 I've forgotten my bowl. He whined. Oh, don't worry, sire. We've got plenty of bowls, haven't we, Mother? Grinned Father Bear. There now, Chuck. Cheer up, said Mother Bear. But the king didn't cheer up. What about my fiddlers? I'm supposed to have three fiddlers, said the king, dabbing his tears with his hanky. Hmm, I can't play the fiddle, but I can play the washboard. <laughs> it's over here. And I can play the spoons. Ooh, yeah. And I can play the saucepan drum. <laughs> hey, off we go. <laughs> then let us have music. Okay. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his little bear's three. Now every bear had something to rattle, and a very loud racket made he. And she? Clicky, clicky, clack, bangy, bingy, bock, rack a rack a rack, happy as can be. Oh, there's no so rare as can compare with King Cole and his little bear's three. <laughs> Majesty, give us a big smile. Go on. Grinned Mother Bear. But how can I be happy when I have no breakfast in my bowl? Oh. Sniffed King Cole. Oh, what about filling it up with porridge, sire? Oh. Grinned Father Bear. <laughs> they all sat down to a porridgey yeah. feast, and yeah. Mother Bear added a special treat. <laughs> it's fruity chunks today. Fruity oh. chunks. Oh. Yum, yum. Yeah. Tuck in, everyone. <laughs> Oh, King Cole was a merry old soul. That's right. And a merry old soul was he. He called for his... Uh, oh, pipe. <laughs> and he called for his... <laughs> oh, bowl. And he called for his fiddlers three. Ah, <laughs> sing it again, Rosetti. Yes, join in, story makers. Yes. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his... Pipe. And he called <laughs> for his... And he called for his fiddlers three. Yeah. <laughs> Ida, what were we doing? Uh, doing? Yes, before the story. We were... <gasps> ah, yes, hat. Hat. <gasps> oh, that rhymes with... Um, uh, cat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's see how Jackson's getting on with his cat. Hat. Mm. Hat. <laughs> Ooh, look... <laughs> I've made two hats. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh wow, Jackson, I like them. <laughs> yes, but which one do you like the best? Oh. There's this blue hat. There. Oh. <laughs> do you like that? Nice. Yes. Oh, there's the young black one. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, oh, I like the pointy one best. <laughs> yes, it makes him look like a balloon wizard. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. I like that one the best, too. <laughs> yeah. But what should we do with this? Uh, uh, well, we could put it in the story machine. Yeah, come on, oh, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. In it goes. Maybe there'll be a hat in the story. <laughs> Are you ready with your imaginations? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. It's a... Blue cow story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Cowboy. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the other cows. I wonder what cows do in faraway places. She's off again, said the other cows. 
So, Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to meet some faraway cows, please. There you go, madam. Oh, very tight. And they set off for America. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she seemed to be in a huge desert. There were strangely shaped rocks everywhere and lots of unusual plants covered in spikes. Careful of the cacti, buddy. They're kind of spiky, said a voice. Blue Cow looked round and saw a man on a horse. He was wearing a huge hat and carried a lasso. And he was crying. Oh, hello. I'm Blue Cow, said Blue Cow. The man just kept sobbing. I'm Cynthia, said the horse. This is Hank. He's a cowboy and he's rather upset. Uh, I'm having problems rounding up my cows, cried Hank. Moo! I spend a lot of time with cows. In fact, I am a cow, said Blue Cow. Perhaps I could help. You'd better come with us, said Cynthia. Cynthia and Hank led Blue Cow down a huge canyon and soon they reached a whole herd of cows. Some of the cows were pink and some were yellow. Afternoon, ladies, called Blue Cow. Howdy, partner, partner, chorused the cows. I need to sort all the pink cows into that field and all the yellow cows into that other field, said Hank the cowboy. But he's not very good at colours, so he gets kind of mixed up said Cynthia. Leave it to me, said Blue Cow. She took Hank's lasso and swung it above her head. She lassoed a yellow cow and put it in one field. Then she lassoed a pink cow and put it in the other field. Blue Cow kept going until all the cows were divided up into the two fields. Well, well done, done, Blue Cow! cow called the pink and yellow cows. Thanks, partner, said Hank. Now you're a proper cowgirl. Moo! Oh, you'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to America and met pink and yellow cows. Everyone knows there aren't such things as pink or yellow cows. But we know there are, don't we? Oh, Blue Cow really is a cowgirl, isn't she? She's a blue cowgirl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Rosetti, look, it's getting light. Oh, yes, the sun is on sleeping its beams. All story makers must be hidden away before it wakes. The children will be coming to the library soon. <laughs> yes, my sweeties, dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you... <laughs> Goodbye! Good story makers, story makers Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Thanks for making stories of fun Bye! Bye-bye, story makers. Come and make some more stories soon. <laughs>